We are here at the farm of Beaufort Downs and I'm joined by Ollie Tuthill. Ollie, talk us through yearling prep. When does it start? Kind of gearing up for the sales as soon as they're born, when they're weaned, um, you know, looking after the horses. But generally they all come into the boxes uh, about two to two and a half months before they come up here. And I'm sure daily routines differ, but generally what does a day in the life of a yearling look like leading up to Karaka? Um, so for our yearlings, we, we like to keep them, um, they come into the boxes in the morning um, and we like to keep them in all day uh, in the boxes when we uh, come in they have their breakfast probably normally about seven o'clock half past six they have a breakfast um, have a bit of a groom and then they might have a walk and then they have a relaxing afternoon and then we like to keep, keep them out in the paddocks so we have um, colt paddocks and bigger paddocks for the fillies which the horses will go out at night time stretch their legs get rid of a bit of energy um, and then the process will carry on the next day basically the same as that and there's lots of other processes you know your farrier your vet work all of that sort of stuff chat to us about that uh, yeah I mean the, the vets are always always seem to be at our place you know we have to x-ray the horses so all the horses that we take to sales we have a process of x-raying all of them um, and this starts uh, for us back in the end of August we do a screening x-ray for the, all of them to screen any issues with all the horses and then we'll have to do a final set of x-rays again sort of a month before the sales so we'll go through another so that's quite a long process and then we do pre-scoping we check all their hearts we check all their eyes just to make sure they're right but all the way along with the vets are with us just um, if there are any niggles or anything you know keep making sure the horses are healthy and then for the farrier we generally don't uh, put shoes on until we come up to the sales but all our horses get shot and once they're just about to get on the truck to come up here to Karaka. Otherwise they're just trimmed every sort of four to five weeks before the sales. Yeah. You mentioned the trip up here. It's a long trip for you guys. You're based in the South Island. So how does that look? Yeah, it's a long trip. It's a really long trip. So we we try and do as much as we can to make sure the horses are um, happy as possible. Um, so we it takes us about um, two days to get here and we sort of split the trip up a little bit. Um, we leave at night time. So we load the horses on a, on a in an evening, 8 o'clock in the evening, and then we travel through the night and we get to the ferry uh, about 1am in the morning and then they sit on the truck and in the ferry um, and then we get off the ferry about 6 o'clock and then we do another two hours drive and we get to um, Bulls where we take the horses off and then the horses have the whole day there to relax and we make sure they're all travelled all right, travelled well, um, settled in and just to take their breath and recover a bit and then we have the, the night there and then we put them back on the truck early in the morning about 4am and again travel and when it's cooler and we travel all the way up to the um, up here so that's another seven hours. It's a trip and a half uh, but look well worth it once you get here. You've got a wonderful draft uh, for off, on offer here at Karaka this year. Do you have a favourite yourself? Um, the, my my favourite is probably our last lot to go through which is a deep field colt um, just because he's such a he's such a cool guy you know he's um, I can't really fault him he's a lovely horse he's thrived up here he's always been a nice foal and nice when we wean him and yeah so he's, he's really my favourite he's become a good mate of mine really